Hello and welcome to Stock Frost Maths key skill video on generating terms in a sequence using a nonlinear nth term. Now in the previous video we saw how we could use a linear expression of the form something n plus a number to generate terms of a sequence. And remember the important thing is that n represents the position of the term in the sequence. So if n was 1 for example that means you have the first term in the sequence. If n was 2, that means you have the second term in the sequence, etc. So therefore, if you wanted to find the tenth term of the sequence, then the position n is 10. So we just need to substitute the value 10 into this expression. So when n is equal to 10 to get the tenth term, then we get 2 times 10 squared plus n, so plus 10. And remember 2n squared means 2 lots of n squared. It doesn't mean 2n squared. So we've got to square the n first and then times it by 2. So we've got to square the 10 first and then times it by 2. 10 squared is 100 times 2 is 200 and if we add the 10 we get 210. 